So this is the debrief video of our session about dealing with disappointment and failure. And in the first video, we went through the process of thinking about disappointment and failure and understanding that you're not alone and that everybody else goes through that process as well. And in the second video, we went through the action steps that you can take to deal with disappointment and failure in a more positive way. And if you haven't watched these two videos, you need to work through them first and then we'll tackle this debrief video. So just to summarize the action steps that you need to take. Firstly, you need to imagine the worst case scenario and understand that even in the worst case scenario, you will still be fine. Sometimes we overthink things and we are fearful of things that have a very low probability of happening. But even if they do and you're fine, why are you worrying about it? The second thing you need to do is to look at your recipe that you're applying in life and take out all of the bad ingredients that that's getting you a bad result and replace them with good ingredients that can give you a better result until you have a successful recipe. And then the third thing is to make note of all of the small things that you are successful at and not just focusing on this negative failure and disappointment that you're going through, but noticing all of the things that you can be grateful for and that's good and positive in your life and making a list of that. Now, if you've done this, you might notice that it's not as easy as you might think it is to go through this process. And I just want to encourage you to say that in my journey, I've always found that things never, ever work out as expected. It's always better than you've expected it to be, or it's worse than what you've expected it to be. And what determines if it's better or worse is just the recipe that you apply. But you have to keep on going through these iterations. You have to keep on going through this recipe, constantly improving your recipe. It takes a while to get your recipe right. It can take years to perfect your recipe. The reason why Tanta Kuba's milk tart is the best milk tart in the world is because the, her recipe has been perfected over generations of baking. And it's very, very crucial that you understand that. You won't get it right the first time. You might fail again. Then you just need to understand and remember that it's not you. It's just a result of one iteration of your recipe. Change the recipe. Try again. Just like Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, just keep going. Because you don't want to stop there. You want to get through it. So work through these iterations and a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, you'll see that you have the perfect recipe to execute every day to give you the life that you've dreamt of. It is possible to live the dream life that you've always dreamt of. You just need to start taking action on these action points and perfect that recipe to give you that success in your life. It is possible and it is possible for you. What are you going to do about it?